I mean, I don't need my fucking... I don't need the mass combat anymore. True. Anyways, also we're Right live. now, at least. Also we're live. Yeah. Anyway, we're live. We're... Alright. Mm -hmm. uh... and, and also the recording started. Don't worry. I remember this time. Wow, Otters. you remembered you remember this time, Pog. I mean, the government told... I got, it was talked about like half an hour ago. So why wouldn't I remember? Do you remember the 21st night of December? I'm fucking leaving. <laughs> Don't leave. Watch me. <laughs> See? I told you I'd leave. Yes. Yes, tonight we are all playing a cute bug game called Bug Fables, the Everlasting <laughs> Uh, shut up. <laughs> what do you mean? I am... What do you mean? That's what we're doing. We're not playing D and D. What do you mean? Oh yeah, session ten, ba. <laughs> See, there it's updated. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> no, thank you. I put it as Destiny Two. I That's, yeah, I was about to say <laughs> Destiny <laughs> Two. Yes, the fast action <laughs> first shut person up. shooter Destiny shut Two. Up. Shut up. There. Played from the browser. From the browser. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Fuck you. But no, I am just trying to clarify how skilled you are. You, you, Stop you. Bullying my boyfriend can. I'm not bullying. I'm yes, genuine. you are. <laughs> you are very much bullying, you asshole. If you want, if you want yeah, accurate, if you want accurate titles and, and tags, you you get me to stream everything on Streamlabs because that okay. prompts me to make a title every single time. But my the idea setup is for uh newsflash OBS. Also, Streamlabs is kind of cringe right now. I'm still gonna use the yes. stream gaming because it's just kind of better for it. Yeah, that's, fair enough. that's why. That's why I use Twitch as in house streaming thing, just because it's. Me. It has an in house streaming? What? Yeah. yeah. They have their own little streaming service that's like the most basic, bare bones fucking thing ever, but you know what? It works. Oh, never mind. I, Fuck think, that. It's, I think it's pretty much like the like the console app. It just. Yeah, it, 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 it's a done. Yeah, it, yeah, it's effectively that. It's called Twitch Studio. That's what. That's what I use the stream, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I I I like it. It gets like, the job it, done, but if you yeah, ever need it, to do anything more complicated, you might have to change. Exactly. Like but for it now, is it's fine. It's it's useful for lazy bitches like me that don't want to put too much effort. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. I don't know, maybe I could put more effort in, but I choose not to. I mean, you can always try and put more effort in, but I usually choose not to. Exactly. Um, I have debate about switching over to OBS, but that requires effort. Plus, I don't like the way OBS deals with things, but that's a more personal thing because that's a matter of I refuse to learn OBS. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I can just tell you it's not that bad. Once yeah, you know we, what the there's, fuck you're doing. there's two people yeah. on the server who are very good at OBS, Alex and DG both. Jesus Christ, you think yeah, I'm good no. at OBS? Hell no. I gave up on it oh, for like... multiple years because I didn't realize that game capture is so finicky. No, that Destiny is so finicky. <laughs> no, that was just multiple games, BTT6 included, I think. Game capture just it, didn't work it, very well. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. It's one of those where it's just like, yeah, OBS is just the general good get to, but it's like. Yes, it's also free. So, free, you know. unless, unless you want like very specific things, then you gotta pay money for. I mean, I mean, yeah, that, that that's a lot of different things, to be fair. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, I just don't have a fucking if... back. Anyways, I just don't have a background as a fucking wizard. That's funny. We still, we, yeah, still, we still we still haven't done that. God fucking damn. We still haven't taken care of it. Just Taylor, you know like Taylor, it, Taylor, 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 Taylor. I'm just we were, we've I'm never claimed just, to be I'm just professionals. Like, 
I'm just like I'm just letting you know if you don't have anything by Thursday, I'm snapping your necks. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. No, not like, not, not that for army. Army, army background, not like story, but you know, like background class slash. Yeah, actual actual mechanical <laughs> background ba ba background class. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like the our acolyte. And no, the, I yeah. That's no, I, I I got you. I I got you. I just I love that the. It's a class. Just I don't know. I guess. Kind of what it is. My, my secondary class. What of? I specialize in a uh, second degree hermit. <laughs> hermit. Her I thought I'm still between hermit and sage. What about sagey hermit? Shut the fuck up. No, I'm being no. I like dead ass being genuine on that one. I mean, I could be. I mean, hermit would kind of work because the because the fact that I'm a scribe's wizard, but although I could just be a scribe as why... a sage. I was like, why not? Why not match the two? Like you, yeah, you reached a certain you point in your specialty. Uh, just basically, just be like, hey, I uh, reached a point in my academics where it's better off that I be alone for a bit and figure shit out. Uh, I, I, have to... I forgot to eat lunch. Okay, here's we'll three. I'm gonna have to tonight. replace my Arcana oh. Prof because LOL. Taking Sage. Anyway, we are. I believe we are here to play D and D. Not us. I love how it DM. wasn't. The... I was. I love how it wasn't the DM and the player that sorted it out. It was a player and another player that sorted it out. Yes, oh. I was about to say oh. that we should get to. That we should actually get to D and D, but then, but then Taylor said that he didn't eat food. True. So he should go deal with that. Uh But what? How have you considered? Why can't wizards take? Why the fuck is nature? Please, wizards. Take please just get yourself at least a snack. I I don't care what it is. Just get some kind of food in you, please. Okay. Okay. I was about to go, have you considered the two of us are infiltrating a camp and while we wait to keep you back in, you can eat? True. That's smart. Anyways. Wait, why are you using a brain cell today? Anyways, I have plus seven investigation now, right. Smile. Oh, it's because it, oh, it's because I have a Vegas bomb in my hand. That's why. What? You have what in your hand? Al alcohol. Oh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I, heard, I heard bomb. I heard bomb. I was like, uh, excuse me. Yeah, Did, a Vegas, yeah, a Vegas bomb. The, the only That's... thing I remember about drunk can is you is every time you misspelled something, you would you would you would say fuck it yourself. That's the only oh. thing I remember about drunk. Oh no, I'm not getting. I'm not getting drunk. I just ha I just have the one. I see. Uh, another news. We should, D &D. Uh, anyways, we should probably we go should... set up. We should. Probably set up some Deep Rock, uh, Deep Rock Galactic uh, game nights at some point, because that game is fun. That could probably be just something to discuss after the Otters. Otters. Well, <clears throat> when we last left off, you had just successfully d crossed the bridge and proceeded to detonate it. Killing a very sizable chunk of the Imperial Army. They have since fallen back from the from the bridge and have regrouped at at their camp location. Night has begun to fall, and I believe the that the wizard and the rogue were Planning on causing some trouble during the night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were going to try to murder people in their sleep. We were going to sandman them. Yeah, yeah. Also, we also the kill count was uh, one point two thousand enemies versus uh, a measly two hundred and three defendant defenders. Of which uh, you lost, if I remember correctly, ninety. Mm -hmm. Not. not 
twelve hundred to ninety is a is a pretty good fucking ratio in our favor, you know? Yes, because you lost the three did you lose all three starting groups of No, yeah. one of them survived, I think. No, yeah. all three. One... All three. Oh well, yeah, the the one that survived was the commander's group and he got fireballed. <laughs> yes, because of you. Yes, so in total ninety casualties. Yes. All the archers lived though. That's pretty nice pog. The poor commander, Rue Seven. Rue Seven. Well, I mean, he, he he lived as he died, fighting for a bridge. True. I'm sure but yes, that will. As as the night pulled on, and it was clear that the enemy was had set up camp for the night. Um, the majority of the soldiers have since moved off the bridge to off off to the sides into a, a makeshift camp of their own where the majority of them are now taking their rest with all with what is with two bridge guards keep keep an eye out ready to sound the horn if enemies are found if enemies attempt to make a night crossing they won't it's too illuminated <laughs> They're not ready for a fucking night flying, though. True. They're not ready to try and shoot an, at, at an archer. Uh, they're not trying. They're not ready to shoot at a in fighter rogue that can fly and also affect, give themselves advantage on stealth checks. Well, it just has advantage yeah. on stealth checks. LOL. Yep. And um, is also currently invisible, carrying a fox girl. <laughs> one other thing that you would know has happened since uh, from just before you'd left, a runner was sent back to the main city to update on the current situation. Puggers. Puggers. Um, sure, the pink king, if he doesn't get assassinated at some point, will pay as well. And aside from that, Shoot. everything seems to be more or less Orderly, the the enemy has completely pulled back. They don't even seem to, as you fly over, they seem to not even have any watchers on the bridge. At least none that you can clearly see. All right. Um, What's the kill count on the uh, Imperial army again? We killed like one point two thousand. Yeah, one point two k. That was the approximate casualties we were told that we inflicted by Mister DM here. 1.2k inflicted on them, 90 inflicted to you. Including the commander we snap. The commander and his second in command. Yeah. Oh, and because the that was the first the because that was the first group that got murdered. Yeah, the first group that got murked was the second in command's group. <laughs> yep, and we are effectively the highest ranking individuals here because well, not effectively, but they just they just listened to us if we told them to do things. Because oh. mm -hmm. we're that awesome. Well, because no, they saw how fucking effective we were. True. Exactly, we're just that awesome. And if somebody but... didn't take control, they probably would have stopped panicking. Mm -hmm. Well, Twilight Sanctuary yeah. probably would have prevented but panicking. It's a little side Not... Twilight Sanctuary. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Also, we need to roll uh... how many charges of Wanda Fireball gains whenever it hits Dawn. Because it's nighttime yes. right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. While we're flying overhead, uh, Caroline is going to look for the tents that look like they have people of, of somewhat importance in them. Uh, roll me a quick perception. All right. Can I roll me, it too? Uh, you may indeed. Yeah. Uh, what's your perception again, Can? Uh, my perception is plus six. Uh, I'm going to assist Can and give him give. Uh, her, 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 him advantage. Okay. All right, so yeah. feel free to roll another one. All right, I'll well, take I the try. twenty-four. Well, you can't take anything else but the twenty-four. It's advantage. <laughs> you know what? I choose to take the eleven now. Uh, <laughs> the advantage physically prevents you from doing that. It's funny. <laughs> Damn, I can't. I want to have a hear your roll. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I 100% Look, can. it doesn't involve alcohol and you had a good roll. Just accept it. No, I know. 
I'm just, I'm just memeing. Uh, but yeah, I'll take, I'll take a twenty-four. That's a good start. All right. So, um, it is fairly easy to find um commanders tents. They are the most well defended as well as the largest tents in the camps. Mm-hmm. Well. Uh, from from your initial vantage point, you can see um you can see five tents that look like they belong to the commanders. Uh one you know belongs to the general, which is in the direct center of the camp. What if I just start yeah. scorching rain in the tents? Please don't. <laughs> what if I did? Please don't. I want to guarantee their death. Scorching ray of the tents, they're probably re- prepared for us to burn <laughs> tent stone again. But what if I melt my muted meteors to them instead? Ooh, what if ooh. I drop you from from the height that we're currently at? <laughs> I'd say to it, but I don't have feather fall, so don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, so I guess the, uh, uh, after the tents get pointed out, uh, Caroline's probably just gonna ask him and just go, so, they, they are right over there, um, how do you want to play this? Do you just think we should just go in and stop them, or do, not, do something similar to what we did the first night and create a diversion? Uh, I am not sure. Uh, how do you wish to go about this? Mm, chances are they're probably going to expect us to go after their supplies and not their commanders, seeing as though they are heavily guarded, so... Well, I can My turn biggest worry... Go ahead. Well, I can turn us... I can turn us both invisible again. True, which is... Probably it would be better if we stay close, though. Well, chances are the. So, I mean, that should be more than enough time. Hmm. The concern I have is if they have, since they have uh, the general's guard, which seems to also be a psychic and can kind of suss me out. My prediction is he's probably going to be patrolling around if he's not just flat out outside the general's tent again. If we can get him away from the general somehow, like get him figuratively away, I could probably sneak in here and deal with him, but we might be better off dealing with the less so important people. At least start cutting some heads off this Hydra, if that makes sense. Mm. A sound plan. And I'm sure if eventually someone's going to find their bodies, and that will cause more than enough chaos for us. Hey, indeed. And I mean, worst comes the worst, we could always change objective. Kill one person, we get found out, we do another scorched earth situation and get out. Not wrong. So, so, um, so your invisibility breaks every time we do something with malicious intent, no? Attacking someone directly or forcing them to react. Harmless. <laughs> she she will physically do air quotes. Harmless actions like setting tents on fire will not will not break it though. No. Hmm. So, it would probably be best if you stay close then, if I'm to do what I need to do then. Uh, how about this? We. I'll sneak us into the tents, and then you just. Uh, you keep eyes out while I. Uh, kill people while they sleep. Ironically. Ironically, you're the better lookout than Ami is. That is an out-of-character out char- out thing, because you have a higher perception. I know, I, I know out-of-character she yeah. is, yeah, but 
but I also have two attacks and a yeah. Several stabs are a lot quieter than melting someone's face with fire. <laughs> Doesn't no, Ami no. also have dark vision? Yes, Ami has dark vision. This is also true. This is true. <laughs> I forgot about that part. That a uh, normal ass human doesn't have dark vision. No, she doesn't. Caroline can't fucking see. True. Which is why. Which is why I would prefer you would be on lookout, or at least on standby, just in case things go wrong. We could return us back invisible, and we can get out. Mm -hmm. Or if need be, just nuke whatever part of the camp we're in while we escape. Well, we could only I could only do it after we make both after I make both of us invisible. Well, we could only make both of us invisible two more times. In, if we do you to. not still have this? Do you still well, not have the spell scroll? Well, remember. Well, remember those are only those will only make one person invisible. Although you can fly, so and have that. But I mean that. So you're not wrong. True, but that, but that would also free up potentially somebody your potential if you just use one of those to make yourself invisible and then use. But I, I, I can. I can. The... I, I can leave. I can leave. I can lead with uh, making both of us invisible, and we'll go from there. Yeah, we can we can figure out as we go. But if uh, if I start if I start detecting the general's guard in any capacity, we are leaving. I know, Sound good? You, um, sounds fine to me. That is. Why do you mm -hmm. just like, why do you turn Russian? I don't know. It Fair happens. Enough. It happens. Fair. It, okay. it happens. It happens sometimes when I try to do voices, they just... I, I think I think oh, Ken's totally. trying to go for a more generic Eastern European, and it always descends into Russian eventually. Just Eastern Russian, it's fine. Fair enough. But, uh, yeah. It I'm happens. Going, I'm going to cast Invisibility on both of us. Alright. So I know that it's a third level spell slot down, I have two left. That is one less fireball, roost snap, but, you know, invisibility is pretty cool, too. Modders. So I will fly us to... I will I will try to fly, fly us carefully to the tent that looks like it has the least amount of guards. Alright, um... All you, we can use your previous perception check. You're able to find one that's... It it has it has two guards standing out in front of the tent and a couple patrolling down down by the path, but it is the most lightly guarded tent that you can see. Okay, I would like to kind of try to sneak us in there. All right, um, you're invisible, so that means that that's not really an issue. Okay. Who is the um, poor? Who is the poor, unfortunate soul we see in front of us? They're not war crimes, DG. Please don't call them war crimes. It's guerrilla warfare. It's completely and totally legal, <laughs> as in there are no laws against it. Yeah, even even if they were, even if they were doing war crimes, they're technically not war crimes because war crimes don't exist here yet. Yet. But see, that's why we are setting the standard for them, so we can break them later. <laughs> Got that. <laughs> anyway, um, the commander that you find here is a human, as the majority of the command staff of the army seems to be. Um, and he is currently in his bed, sleeping like a baby. Okay. I'm his tent, sorry. his tent is dimly lit by a few candles, and um, there seems to be nobody else in the tent save for him. Sorry, okay. who is this? Just a random commander. We're He's about one to of merge. the commanders. Um, yeah, I'm going to cautiously and very quietly put Ami down, so she's not. 
she's not in Caroline's way, and then Caroline is going to uh, retrieve her rapier, go up to this man, and stab him in his sleep. <laughs> Okay, roll it for me. Well, I okay. assume this is an advantage, Jim. Yeah. Yes, this is an advantage. No, and no, you have your no, 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 no. It auto crits because they're unconscious. Oh, uh, yeah. Auto crits. Oh, because... they auto crits. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Yes, welcome to unconsciousness. So yeah. Yes, welcome to unconsciousness. I forgot it's about that. <laughs> not good. Do not get unconscious. So, yeah. hold on. I gotta check out the wording. Oh. I gotta check out the wording of something. Yeah, but no, those both auto crit. Oh. oh, so Piercer activates each on each attack that crits. So that's t additional 2d8 damage. Mm, that's a replacement. I think. Question mark? I have the No. Right when you score a critical hit that deals piercing damage to a creature, you can roll one additional damage die when determining extra piercing damage the target takes. Fair enough. And uh, also don't forget also don't forget your sneak attack. Because it was... I, I, I don't think this is necessary. This poor man is fucking asleep. Uh, remember that your sneak attack was... Your sneak attack slash extra die for the only reason you killed the la one of the last enemies that you True. crit. <laughs> so, uh... So, DM, that's 32 damage to a sleeping man. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> You do you do you, do I do I need to do I need to side dice him? <laughs> I will tell you now, you do not. Okay, good. Hoggers, <laughs> being able to keep resources. You you sneak up to his bed. You quietly draw your rapier from a sheath, oh and with deft hands, it just. Passes through his throat, through his bed. There is a slight gurgle, and then there is nothing. Ouch. <laughs> she will. Like... She will. Uh... Oh, yeah, She's you get a... another sneak attack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Let's see yeah. how much yeah. Sneak attack gets double, too. <laughs> uh huh. Eh, not by much. Uh, that anyways, is I'm gonna 34. Roll... 34 man. I'm gonna roll an investigate. Uh, God, I was gonna roll an investigation check to just investigate stuff, but God, uh, sometimes, so, hmm, I don't like that. That was a three. I don't like that. Oh no! It began, oh no! That's good. That that can that's run. concerns me. Well, oh, no, votes didn't run this week. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh no! Monka, it's it begins. Monka. <laughs> uh anyway, um as 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 Caroline is doing that and uh with that your invisibility does fade as well. That's mm -hmm. true cuz you you know as your as your rapier materializes into view or yeah, appears into view the halfway through this man's throat. <laughs> well, man, <that'll> be <laughs> Um, Ami, with that investigation, you do find you do find a note on his table. Um, it was a note that he had just started writing. It's not yet complete, but it does have his name oh. on it. Oh God! Uh, you know, you know that this, you know that this commander's name was York. <laughs> Dear Meredith, I am so ha I am sad that I must depart you for this war. I'm sure Gretel is very no. sad to you. No, <laughs> no, don't do that to me. <laughs> Adore snap. Don't do that to me. Anyway, so uh, Caroline is going to cheese her rapier and approach the area she assumes Ami is still at and like try to motion her to like, like hop hop back on so they can move on to the next one. Well, uh... Uh... How do you want to do this? Because you're trying to catch someone that's invisible. <laughs> I mean, she's just, she's just pretty much, like, bracing for it. So, like, she's just waiting to feel something, like, hit her effectively. Hmm. Well, I mean... <laughs> you said hop on, so she'll hop on. Okay. <laughs> 
Um, can give me a quick athletics. Let's just see how this goes. Can I argue acrobatics? Uh, no. Frankly, no, so. fr fr frankly, I think it should be a strength saving throw. Why is it, why is it an advantage? No. So it should be seven. LOL, he rolled a four. I mean, strength saving throw is the same thing as my athletics, so. Edge. Ouch. <laughs> Ouchie. Well, um, regardless, uh, you you feel you feel a weight jump onto your back, and while while you were braced for it, you you are taken a bit by surprise, and you you stumble you stumble forward a little bit, but you do manage to catch yourself before you go bumbling into one of the guards. Oh, he absolutely should have fucking fallen on the ground. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, she is she's going to presume where Ami's head is and kind of give give her a very notable death claim <laughs> where she assumes Ami's head is. Uh, just kind of quietly kind of ask Ami to... It, I, do you want me to sneak us out or... Would you like the? Are we saving the invisibility for emergency? Saving the invis. You have a cloak. You have a cloak of elven kind. It should suffice more than. It should suffice more than enough. It is night. Fair enough. They Fair enough. Uh, uh, and she uh, pulls up the hood of her cloak, and she will, with Ami on her back, quietly get out of the tent. All right. But here's uh, the thing, though. Since Ami's still invisible. If they're touching, Caroline could also be invisible. No, because that's another creature. No, that, that, yeah, that, it only affects oh. one creature and their equipment, not yes. uh, subsequent oh. creatures. That would be broken, yeah, okay. because we could just make a big Caroline. Ch chain and, and everyone would be invisible, and then be dumb. <laughs> that w entire also, wars would literally be run that way in an instant. Uh, also, last time I checked, Caroline is not equipment. Uh, <laughs> that can be changed. <laughs> that can certainly be changed. I mean, if you ask her nicely. Um, anyway. Uh, Caroline, please roll me a stealth, and I believe you have an advantage because of your cloak. Yep. Good thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's also at nighttime, so they probably all have the disadvantage, or just straight up can't fucking see very far. The only way they'd be able to hear, see, uh, know this for, know we're here is if they, uh, Fucking uh, hurt us. Which, if we're flying, is kind of impossible. Yeah. All right. So, uh, doo -doo -doo. okay. All right. You are fine. No, you you sneak out. You met. You lift up one of the one of the sides of the tent, and you quietly slip out. And it seems that no one is the wiser. <laughs> Must have been the way. <laughs> uh, yeah, she will make her way over to the next oh immediate God. tent of <laughs> commander and s slip in. Actually, yeah, rolled a fucking one on the stealth check, dear God. Fucking <laughs> advantage saving your life, dear God. Oh, 100% it is. Yo, are you okay? Yo, yo, are you okay? Like, I'm not. I'm not there to to uh. I'm. It'll be fine. It, it will copium. be fine. That's copium. No, it literally will. No, it literally is because uh, newsflash, a goblin devastators don't have invis invisibility, which we know out of character. True. Which we don't know in character. True. The only the, the only thing I'm <laughs> yeah, concerned about is that, bad luck is that breaking didn't happen. <laughs> the only what? the only thing I'm just concerned about is that cyanide that they have. That's the only thing that really concerns me right now. Otherwise, I don't give a shit. True. We'll be fine. Um, yeah, she'll make her way to the next uh, commander's tent she's able to find. All right, so you start sneaking your way through the camp, dodging and ducking through uh, the patrols. Um, and after a few minutes, you do find your way to the next to the next commander's tent, and as you make your way in, he is sitting at his desk, currently uh, writing a note. 
So this uh, is back towards me. Let me see what this is right. What he's writing. And an incredibly okay. fucking hush. So gonna get put down by Caroline. Yep. She yep. Ami is going to uh do sneak her way into the tent and just just ho just hover a little bit away hover a bit ways from the uh from the commander slash general to see what they're writing on the note. Alright, uh, as you peer over, you see that he is currently writing a note. Um, it looks like it's to his superior. Um, he is expressing some concern over the, over the plan to take the bridge and feels that it was a worthless effort to lose so many of their troops in, in an attempt to take a crossing that they did not need. <laughs> Mm. Ami is just going to smugly smile to herself. Like, aggressively smile to herself. She p she feels particularly uh, vindicated by this note. Uh, after giving a moment, I miss, uh, Caroline is assuming Ami is taking the time to look at the note. She is just going to sneak up and fucking mark this man. Oh, God. Remember, you do not get <laughs> autocrits this time. You do have, I know. You do have advantage, though. Ooh, that second one. Oh yikes! Actually, that's actually really bad. Oh, uh, there's our plan. Yep. I mean, yeah, I like the action surge to guarantee this man's death. <laughs> you may, you may do that. Go ahead and roll another one. Oh my god, they're so bad. <laughs> oh, and, oh, can that's seventeen. 19, 17 plus 19 damage. Uh, I will burn two side eyes to add one d because I've leveled up fighter. My side eyes are now 1d8 versus 1d6. Pog. Oh, and sneak attack. Don't uh, forget sneak attack. 1d6. Yeah, don't forget sneak attack. If you can. So I'm rolling the side eye first. So that is 16. Sneak attack. You Eight, don't roll two. Six. You only roll one. Yep, my bad. Well, it's still four. Yeah. Uh, so... That's 16, good. 20... So, 36. 37. Is he dead? Uh, 37 is enough to kill. Yep. Oh, God. Dear God. I... So, can I flavor it? Yeah, go ahead and flavor it. Yeah, she... She will un she un she sit and first strike basically goes through his chest and before she can react she before he can react she'll pull out the rapier and basically decapitate him. <laughs> I see no crits. I disapprove of this flavoring, but he's dead. So, ye. Yeah. Or at least attempts to decapitate them. If it's not a full decapitation, that's fine. Like maybe like cuts enough of the. I mean, you just need cuts you, you... to. You just need you to start, cut the neck. It, yeah, you start yeah. you start slicing into the neck, but you aren't quite able to get through the the spinal cord for a <laughs> just cut. decapitation. Can it be a clinical decapitation where I just sever the spinal? I let's, let's let's stop. Let's stop right there, please. Memes, anyway. I, I'm I, yes, memes, but also no. Let's, uh, no. let's keep let's keep let's let's keep it. Right? Let's yeah. keep it yep, TOS no. friendly, please. Sounds good. And also comfortable for people in chat and me. <laughs> that's that's and fair. And me. That is fair. All right. So this commander Texas is really very much dead. Good. As he gasps at the first stab, and then his body drops to, drops off his chair and thuds onto the ground. Um, would you like to do anything else before you leave? Uh, Ami is going to wince, but she's going to have another look around the tent. She's going to have a look around this tent, too. Uh, for right, anything she may... could possibly uh, take with her with a better roll, Rupog. Rupog, nice. better roll. Nice, nice not it. Nice, 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 nice,
So you start you start looking around his room. You find a few personal documents, um, a few uh, notes that he's written to to various commanding officers. He seems to do this a lot. He's very oh, vocal, man. He's very complaining. He likes to complain. A lot. I mean, we only probably well, one. No, we don't know how many how many I'm actually complaining. Um. And you find a list of his of orders for him for him and his army group in particular. Oh yeah, what are those like? Uh, the list of orders shows that um, uh, he is to accompany the he's to accompany this the main army in taking the bridge, and once the bridge has been taken, uh, his group was to split off to. Uh, intercept any reinforcements that may attempt to come and aid ah! the city. Ah! LOL. Hey! You wish. LOL. Get wrecked, nerd. Get wrecked, nerd. Yeah. Caroline is going to take a look at the note that Ami had already looked at that he was writing and then just kind of take it. <laughs> Yoink. Just, Yoink yep, just, for pers- just for personal self-gratification as well. <laughs> Is this is this her, co- her form of trophy collecting? She takes she takes commander's notes. Yes. All right. There there are weirder weirder things, but I think having notes talking about how much they fuck everyone is fucked with them is also acceptable. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it could be worse. All right. Anything else you would like to do? Uh. uh if if you if you uh by his bedside he does have a pouch of uh fifty gold. Nice. Basically going to kind of also once again wait for uh Ami to signal that she is ready to go and just kinda <laughs> wait, kind of wait for the inevitable pounce on the back. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh. I have blind fighting. I can see her. Oh, <laughs> you, yeah. you can know what within, is. within that range, you can effectively see anything that isn't behind total cover, even if you're blinded or in darkness. Moreover, you can see an invisible creature within that range, unless the creature successfully hides from you. So I can see her, even though she's invisible. <laughs> unless she actively tries to hide. Exactly. Exactly. All right, so... I, you you I know you know where like Army that. is at all times. You can sense her presence. Yeah, no, so I... Yes, in within ten feet. Yeah. It... <laughs> Does it weird Ami out at all at when she... Caroline just kind of walks over and it's just like, oh there you are, and then just gets you, Can... even though you're fully invisible. <laughs> you have sci- Caroline has psionics. Yep. That's that's pretty weird in general. Yeah. So honestly, shrug. Go ahead. Yeah, exactly. Where? Where'd you? Go ahead. Go ahead. I was Go just, ahead. I was just, I was just gonna say we're an odd bunch. Let's just be real. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Seems about right for a D and D party. Anyway, I okay. I completely forgot about that because I was like I I thought I had something that was kind of bullshit. Then I remembered, oh yes, blind fighting bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Even if someone casts darkness on me, I could still fuck them up. God damn. But 
But yeah. All right. Effect- so- effectively pick up Ami and move on to the next next poor sod we're about to. Mr. Sandman. Yeah, Can hopefully they're actually me? they're actually asleep this time. All right. As- I am so- um, Do you think yeah. they need music? Probably. <laughs> Hold on. One moment. <laughs> If it wasn't copyright, that would just it would just be meme just to be like Mr. Sandman. <laughs> Give me your dreams. Uh, it's not it's copyright unfortunately to get the fucking I think I know. though. I know. It it that's what I was saying is if it wasn't copyright, it would just be me. I think this one will work. I hate you, bot. Bot apparently hates you too. I will quickly be right back while you're fixing bot problems. But yeah, next thing is moving on to next person. All right. Well, during this period, while while we wait for Ken to get back, let's let's quickly let's quickly move back over to the bridge. And uh, Rivius, what are you what are you doing while the all the two all the two girls are off uh, committing violence? I mean, he's just gonna be chilling. He's probably he's probably gonna take a nap. It's been it's been a lot. It's night time, right? Yes, it is currently night. So he's probably taking a nap. Okay. He has nothing to do. He doesn't have I'm, any watch. He, he doesn't bad. have anything to. Uh, he's not on watch today. He's already talked to Celine. <laughs> probably gonna <laughs> take a nap. Probably actually took off his armor for once. Which is a terrible idea. Honestly. But you know, fight mail. It's heavy. Difficult to sleep in. It's difficult to sleep in, yes. Oh yeah, he's probably gonna take a. He's probably taking a nap. He's been. It's been a long day. <laughs> he's done nothing, but you know. All right. He he he, he root nap right now. He sleeps. He root nap. Yes. All right, uh, and then we'll move back over to the to the camp after checking on Rivia, so he's having a nap. Truly, the blessed boy. <laughs> All right, uh, so can uh, Caroline and Army, you make your way to the next to the next available tent. And as you make your way in, you find uh, the commander is... Uh, he's currently uh, actually practicing. Hmm. He has a hobgoblin in his tent with him, and they are having a... a small sparring match. Yeah, no... It, I, I don't mind if he was sparring a dummy, but yeah, no. <laughs> Caroline, the moment Caroline sees there's another person in the room, she's leaving. Just like, no, thank you. <laughs> That's the no verse. Yeah, she. Wait, like, who knows? This commander is probably like actually someone really important, but she's not taking that risk. She would rather kill as many people as she can get away with before doing this. Even though there's a small part of me that would think it would be Mimi to throw a <laughs> or a, a, a beat of force in there, but oh, 100 <laughs> percent. I never said all the Mimi ideas I had were good, but anyway, yeah, she's 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 moving on at the side of that. All right. 
All right, as you continue moving through Tint, you are getting deeper into the into the camp now, and uh, you do see that security is getting tighter. There are more patrols. The patrols that are that are there have more more men. Now, um, as you get closer, you see that the occasional patrol seems to have a a robed hobgoblin along with them. Mm. Very much so. Oh, it's that bitch that ran away! It is... Some of the patrols seem to have uh, devastators along with them now. Lovely. Can't um, it's one of the bitches that ran away. Coward. Yeah, no, she's... As far as we know. Um, yeah, Caroline is going to keep making her way through the camp, just kind of holding her breath at the... at the kind of personal annoyance of them actually being smart and upgrading their security. All right, eventually, after sneaking around for a few minutes, you manage to find your way to another tent. Uh, this tent seems to have... Uh, Seems to have uh, two commanding officers, commanding officers in it. Actually, they appear to be twins. Hmm. Oh, don't That's worry. It's not. It, it's not. It's not going to be in either situation. <laughs> don't worry. Are they? Yes. Uh, are they both asleep? Uh, they are currently both asleep. Yes. Okay. Um. Uh, Caroline is going to kind of use this opportunity to also look in the tent, because even though they are both twins, obviously they're both their own separate people, so she wants to figure out if there's an indicator on which one is probably the more tactically sound-minded. Yep. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna let. Yeah, I'm gonna let Ami do this mostly just because Caroline is not good at investigating. Hey, PT. Plus, plus I mean, uh. Hoopa, <laughs> <laughs> it got better. Plus, I mean, plus I mean, Ami could communicate to Caroline anyway just by pointing stuff out. <laughs> As, seeing as I forgot that I could actually see invisible people. <laughs> Alright, so. Uh, Ami, you start looking around the tent. You find that the one sibling um, seems to keep meticulous notes on, on the movements of both of both their army group, the entire the army as a whole, as well as the enemy that they are facing. Mm. Um, Does right. he have notes on us specifically? Um, as you would look through the notes, army, you would find that there are detailed mentions of a. Of a human, a halfling, and a katsune that proved to be quite troublesome during the the uh, the attack on the bridge. Smile. So yes, there are there are personal notes on all three of you. I just thought of something incredibly cruel we could do. But I'm not. No, we're no, we're killing them. No, we're killing. Monka. I, I'll tell you later. <laughs> More than likely. Depend. I. Here, I'll message Amps and I'll let him be the judge of it. Okay. Well, mostly because 
Imp's nose. You do a little bit better than that. Yeah. It, all right. While well, while I'm waiting for Ken to send that to me, um, uh, Army, you will find that uh, particularly uh, the notes on the halfling are that the halfling seems to be able to hold, seems to be able to inspire troops and hold a line longer than it ever should be capable of. Uh, <laughs> True. The Katsune has a knack for spreading fear and and panic through um ha has a knack for spreading fear and panic through the army. And the the human seems to seems to be willing to throw herself into into the center of combat and comes out more or less unscathed. Somewhat true, but I'll take it. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say it's not TOS friendly, but some people might be uncomfortable with that, Ken. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, that's why I asked you first. Okay. Has a knack for spreading fear. I mean, I could tell the other two if you really want me to. I mean, if you can tell really them. It's, it's not it's not TOS unfriendly, so it's nothing. I mean, it's nothing worse curious? than what you could do in just D and D. It's nothing worse than what you're currently doing. True. Uh, uh, my idea, basically, long story short, my idea was kill one, frame the other for his murder. Oof! Ouch! It's not, it's not even that's that bad, bad, honestly. It's fucked up. Yeah. But it's not really that bad. Oh yeah, that's no, it's funny. horribly fucked. Like, Oh, it's horribly fucked up. That's why it was CSI like, does uh, worse. Yeah. Oh, oh no, I'm not gonna. No, I wouldn't do that. No, Car plus two. Caroline is too proud of her own handiwork. She wouldn't. She wouldn't make it seem like that. She's. <laughs> she wouldn't. She wouldn't throw the credit on someone else. <laughs> she she yeah. would take it all for herself. <laughs> oh, 100 percent. Um, yeah, no, she she's murking them in their sleep. All right. Uh. <laughs> Roll, roll me your attacks because we can. Yep. Yep. They are a crit. Okay. I'm. I'm still just gonna roll. I'm still gonna roll the attack, but it'll pop up the damage. Yeah. So twenty on one. Uh. Yeah. So, well, it's one d six because I don't have the. So. It's two d six for each. Oh okay. Oh yeah. Oh, I, I also get my pierce. I also get piercer. Oh god. Three d six. Hello. So. Do you want me to roll piercer for both or just I mean use you that one for both? Uh it yeah, it activates every time you crit, so you can roll again. Uh but okay. yeah, the first one is is very much dead. Okay. If the second one doesn't seem like he's going to die, I will side dice this. Yeah, you, you that that was your that was just killing one of them. Oh, okay. Okay, so and then the sneak attack. Sure. So, eight. I'm going to send you something. Is this right? That's 22, so, correct? Uh, that is 14. Oh. 
29. So 20, 29. Uh, that does not kill, no. Side dice. All right. Now that this one, it kills. Okay. I sent you something, I'm... Go ahead. Seems that's like you it. Can, yeah, that's what you can assume. Uh... Ems, I sent you something good. Yep. Are those right? Yep, that's correct. Thank you. Alright, so... Uh... With the... Tense, uh, the longer time, it's coming close to about an hour now. I mean, yeah. Alright, so. You successfully kill both of them. You. You, uh. Quick and efficiently just stab each of them through their throat. Okay, um, Ami, so I take it you're investigating the tent more? Alright. Uh, on the other sibling side, you find, um, you find, uh, their list of orders. And it looks like these two, um, are co-commanders of this group, of, of this army group. Um, <laughs> because it appears that the two of them have a strong, not only a blood link, but also a strong psychic link. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, you can... I was, I was about to go, did I get, when we entered the tent then, did Caroline get a tinge off them? Um... You would have, yes. You would have gotten a tinge of their psychic ability. Specifically, their connection to each other. Oh, okay. So it's kind of... My bad, Flinter I should have mentioned psychic. that. I, I, forgot, I forgot that you uh, can sense other psychics. <laughs> well, that seems to be the... That kind of seems to be the ground rule with psionics right now, is just other psionics can sniff each other out. Yeah. Which... That's um, fair. And, uh, you find, uh, several, you find several what seem to be, um, almost like... What, what's, a, what's a good way? Like... The, you find framed... Um, commendations about their dual commander commanding of their of their units showing their um, their psychic connection makes makes them to be quite adept and um, and quite powerful commanders in the army mm. <laughs> Yeah, no. I mean, tactically, this is probably the most sound thing to do. To be fair, uh, half the ship, half the ship, we've been doing it. Yeah. To be fair, half the ship. Yeah, half the ship we've been doing isn't technically what you would consider moral. Um. Yeah. Exactly. So, uh, whenever Ami is ready, Caroline will pick her up. Um, as you search around the tent, you do find some. You do find a gold pouch from both of them, uh, coming to a total of um, one hundred and seventy-five gold. Uh, from their two pop, from their two uh, collections, you find one pouch that has a hundred and one pouch that has seventy-five gold. First, I 
first of all, <laughs> sad because they're they seem like Pog. But second of all, it's a good thing they're fucking dead, dude. They would have fucking fucking been like, hey, there's a psych here. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh, uh, you will also find that their orders were that they were not to be uh, part of the bridge attack, as their their arm the, as their part of the group is reserved for um, the main siege. They are to not expend resources taking the bridge. They, are, they were not part of the bridge siege, and yeah. I mean, that's good. We got one of, well, two siege commanders down, so. I don't really count the first first two we murked because they were just there to run logistic logistical raids and just be obnoxious. Um, yeah. Whenever, whenever Omni's ready, Caroline will take her and we had to keep effectively headhunting. All right. As a, as you progress, uh, after a short while of continuing to sneak, um, army, your invisibility will wear off as an hour has a, has elapsed. Um, I was leave. I believe you used one, and then you have two more. Yes, I believe you got three total. Yes. Four, four yeah, total. One down. It was four total, one Ami burned one. So Yes, that, yes Ami three. burned one. Yeah, I, I am keeping track of the spell, the spell scrolls. Yeah, so now we currently have... Yeah, I have them. Uh... They current so we're down to two. Cool. All right. No. Yeah. N no. Yeah, because. Yeah, because Caroline got some for herself, but Ami got one specifically so she could learn invisibility. <laughs> yeah, so, okay, okay. So okay. so we do have three still. Notters. Yeah, yeah, because you have... definitely yeah, you definitely did use the spell slot for the first invisibility you did. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, no, you no, you cast no, you cast that on Caroline. She spent the hour doing all that bullshit. Yep, yep. All right. So as you as you sneak deeper into the camp, you find that your next the next tent on your on your trip is um is the general's tent. You have oh, at this point reached the center of the camp. Do I do I do I sense the guard? Uh you very much do. It is a very strong psionic presence in this area. Uh, uh, Caroline is going to look for other other uh other camp other uh ones to hit up. Because chances are she sensed it, then that guard probably knows she's there. So she's kind of like, Look, let's at least get one more before that guard just fucking bolts out <laughs> and hunts her down. Well, she doesn't know Ami's going to cast hold person. She's kind of like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> She's in full, I'm probably about to get spotted here soon moment. She, she's, she's, wait, she's waiting for the Metal Gear Solid sound effect to play. Yeah. Yeah, she's going to find the nearest uh, tent that looks of significant importance. 
Okay, well, you are in the center of the camp, and as such, there are actually a few commander's tents here, not just the generals. All right. This yeah. seems to be where his direct command staff is as well. Ooh, this is actually perfect. Uh, she will slip into the first one she can find. All right. As you slip in, you find uh, you find a a uh, a tall man. He is currently sitting in the center of his room. He appears to be meditating. Do I detect psionic from him? You do. <sighs> We're... Uh... Yeah, no, I... I do... The moment she detects it, she's just like, fuck. Um... Yeah, kind of just gently puts Ami down and still continues to like to approach the man like she's going to kill him. But she's fully expecting him to pull that whole bullshit of like, I knew you were coming <laughs> kind of situation. She's fully expecting it. Okay, with um, you you look him over. Um, and you notice that he is in a very deep meditative state. He seems to not be acknowledging anything about his surroundings right now. He seems to be. You you, uh, un unless Caroline has told you, you don't know his psionic. So he, he seems to be practicing some sort of. You you think probably a religious ritual. Yeah, I don't. I think based off Caroline's demeanor, it's probably apparent she knows something. But she didn't really say anything as she approaches this man and kind of gets ready to do all the the good old slap on the back, i.e., slap on the back with rapier. <laughs> yeah, bludgeoning with the sharp end of it. Yes. She's going, to, she's going to, she's going to give him a rough slap on the back with the pointy end of a dagger. Everyone knows piercing is just bludgeoning, but you go all the way. <laughs> God damn it, Ken. <laughs> yep, yeah, no, she's, she's, yeah, no, she's going to stab him. All right. Is it auto you may, or You may roll for me. And mm -hmm. uh, he is technically not unconscious, so it is not an auto crit, but you do get advantage and you will get sneak attack. Alright, that hits, so that is six. Yep. Oh, that ignore that third one. Yeah, so sneak attack, so that's so that is 21 and I will burn a uh, psi attack for this what? 30 damage Uh, well, I only have two left. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll burn. Whoa, hold on. Can I? No, it's once, once per. Turn. I think you can. Yeah, I think it. I think it, you can only do one side die burn per. Uh, yeah, per it's action. once per. It's once. Well, once, per uh, turn. once turn. Once per turn. 
Yeah. All right. As you as you stab into his chest, your rapier goes all the way through, and his eyes shoot open, and he and he. Uh, did you stab him from the front or the back? Back, obviously. All right. And he just stares. He just stares directly at the at the opening to the tent. Can I put like my hand over his mouth so he doesn't like scream or anything? Um, we're going to roll initiative to see if you, to see if you act quicker than him. I'm not gonna lie, I was uh, giddy. I thought that was the dude. <laughs> No. Mm. <laughs> well, well, this. Yeah. Well, he is not dead. Yeah, no, he. And. Um, you can only do once per turn. turn. Yeah. And this would have That's... been counted as and this would have been a turn. Um yeah. so so he he will before you're able to get his, your hand over his mouth, he will yell out Assassin Fuck you. <laughs> and then and then he will um and then he will attempt to um to backhand you, he's going to attempt to. Uh, he he will do he will do an unarmed attack on you. And I don't. Uh, as far as I know, Caroline is not. Is not. She, um, yeah, she's invisible. Not. Yeah. Trying to hit someone behind you, yeah, it's not easy. So yeah, at disadvantage. Um, for unarmed attack, it's it's uh trash. It's based off your strength mod to hit. All right, it's so based off that. It's based off your bad. yeah. It's based off your strength mod to hit, and then the damage is uh, one plus your strength mod. Okay. So he does not succeed in hitting you. I'm gonna roll the other one to see. It's even worse. <laughs> so he attempts he attempts to backhand you with with the rape with the rapier still in his chest, and he completely whiffs it driving the rapier slightly even even deeper into his chest mm. and um, aside from that he's just going to attempt to stand up what a nerd well he can't really do anything else because he's not going to move away is it All right. Uh, so that means, in, t in the initiative order, it is Caroline's turn. Uh, right. She's going. She's going to finish what she started and stab him. All right. Give me a quick stab. Uh, that puts him at. Yep. That is enough. So you pull the rapier out of his chest and stab it through his throat, so he can't say anything again. And he falls limp. On, he falls limp on your blade, and he is dead. She is going to. <laughs> yeah, she's. Good. Yeah.
All right. With that, uh, you quickly start searching through through his desk, and you do find uh, what appears to be a set of orders that are dated today. Um, it it entails a a um what's what's the right word a setback in terms of the taking of the bridge. However, the plan is still will still be moving on as as scheduled. Um, you do find some other orders. However, as you before you're able to really start reading them, uh, you you hear uh, commotion starting to pick up outside. Uh, uh, Caroline is going to kind of immediately start taking off, but the moment she, as she's taking off, she's like, "Now would be a good time for, for something, something big." Uh, as uh, she'll nod and kind of she'll yeah she'll <laughs> yep she will uh, she nods and uh, will rush rush them to the rush them to the supply area Uh, give me a quick perception. You, you and Caroline can both roll this, sure. or you can assist Caroline. Okay. That's twenty-four. Uh, Caroline, you can find a you find a a large clumping of supply carts uh, just off off of uh, where these command tents are. Why do I get the sneaking suspicion these are either ploy or the good shit? Uh, nuke them anyway. <laughs> She'll point him out to Ami. I can tell you now that none of these are Bakum cards because they have ensured that they are none this close to the general. Yeah, that would be incredibly, that would be incredibly moronic. True. True. Uh. Um, but you do, you do set, you do set the three cards aflame. Um. And the fire will, the fire will begin spreading to the to the rest of the carts. All right, so we are leaving. As she, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, if you want to be, well, I mean, if you want to be. I mean, if you want to be a jerk, you could always light the uh, general's tent on fire again. <laughs> Just keep denying. Do it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fireball. I'm, Caroline's probably like, what the fuck? I just light the tent on fire, not fucking. You know what? Whatever. She's just gonna focus on running. All 
All right, so you eat the fireball at the general's tent. Uh, kindly roll me damage. Yes. Um, All right, so. <laughs> as, as you throw the fireball, I will roll for the two guards outside of the general's tent first. Uh, and that fails. So one of the guards is very much dead burned to a crisp by the fireball the other one the other one is heavily singed but still alive uh they were bugbears you cannot tell what bugbears but they were bugbears ah vindication um and the fireball completely incinerates the tent And he fails. Um, as the tent is incinerated, you see, you see, standing in the flames, seemingly completely unfazed by it, a heavily armored individual who is now just staring at you. God. <laughs> That's a shit eating grin. Yes, I know. I'm just I can hear it, my love. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, true. Same. Really God. Imagine being fireballed. Yeah. Anyways. Anyway, here's one roll. Alright. All right, so um, on on your way out, you do you do you do snipe a few a few more carts. Uh, nothing nothing spectacular happens, but you do you do snipe some supplies. Yep. <laughs> this is the way. And, um, the entire camp, the entire camp is now in an uproar sure. as you start making, as you start making your way out, um, uh, and you manage to get away mostly unscathed. A few archers will attempt to take shots at you, but, uh, you... You are able to get away before they are able to muster any form of proper response. <laughs> it is pretty funny. They're, they're, they're still gonna keep trying to prepare for it, but... They're gonna learn counter spell and then fucking Yeah, like, no. No, they're gonna learn they're gonna learn fucking C invisibility just to stop us from being shitlords. <laughs> That's fair. So long. Plus I mean Plus, I mean, while we're not touching the ground, we'll be fine, too.
<laughs> exactly. All right. Yeah. Well, as you start making your way back back to camp, uh, we will cut back over to Rivias. Is it done? It is not dawn yet. It's still night. He's probably awake by now. Um, since you're awake by now, um, where will you be? Huh, probably, uh, I don't know where he I mean, he still probably won't be wearing his armor, because it's, it takes a long time to put on his armor, okay? And he doesn't want to ask for help right now. The only thing that's on him right now is, is his, uh, warlock tome and his amulet. And his warhammer. But his AC is 10 right now, so it's kind of monk is. But yeah, right. he's probably just chatting with, um... But he's basically waiting for his party members to come back, you know? Just vibing. Okay. Um, uh, Rivius, roll me a perception. Monk, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Rivius with a nineteen. Uh, you. You hear a disturbance in the water over here. Hold on. Oh, Come oh on. God. Why does this not surprise me that they're counter rating? <laughs> yeah, he'll probably grab his shield, honestly, and cast Shield of Faith on his, himself, which makes his AC 14. No, he has his arm. His, he has his weapon. He doesn't have his shield on. That's the pro He had his weapon, his amulet of the devout, his warlock tome. He's going to grab his shield and now ca and then cast Shield of Faith, which makes his AC 14. Not good. Not as good. I mean, but... it's on par with Caroline. Yeah, it's 15. His AC is 15. So where's the ping? Sorry, I wasn't looking. It was here. You could hear a disturbance in the water over here. Is my Elkish blasting in the face? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's in the water and you're on the bridge, so you'd have to move closer to be able to see over the side. I'll do that and then my Elkish blasted in the face. <laughs> Okay, as as you move as you move over, you see um you see this. You see Vecna. <laughs> see what? Oh, there are some hobgoblin devastators with uh I, I see. don't know what those look like gobos. You see three hobgoblins and three goblins. And the two of the three goblins are currently scaling the side of the bridge. Uh. He probably has. Actually, instead of Eldritch blasting them in the face, he would. Hold on, I have to double check. Do you have that wand of fireball still? I don't. Ha I can't use the wall for wand of fireball. It's not done yet. It has not recharged yet. Oh yeah, that's right. He uses he three charges of the one magic missile in the face. He's gonna shoot. He's gonna fucking do it. He's gonna fucking. All right. Which which one of these would you like to shoot? Uh. This one. Right here. Right here. All right. I mean, he could probably hit all of them, because... Yeah, he can probably hit, like... Mm. 
And there are yeah. six of them, so you, if you wanted to spread your bolts out, you could hit you could hit five of the six of them, or you could concentrate it on one. Probably gonna concentrate them on one. Probably this one. Yeah, probably yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll put. Uh, I I will tell you this. Uh, they may they may be using the same token, but they are not devastators. Starts they're, they're the they're, they're the hobgoblin marines. And then he starts screaming. He starts causing a ruckus. He will literally cause a ruckus right now. All right. So. So. Yeah. So you'll yeah, you'll you know. have to move. You'll move to about. We'll say about there, so you can see. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you fire the magic missile. So can you please roll for me your. Five bolts of magic missile. Uh, Hold on, I don't actually know what fucking I, magic missile rolls are. Isn't magic missile a one d four? Yeah. Four one d four plus one. Yeah. So I'll roll five d four plus five. Right here. Alright. Uh, that is that. Uh, you fire the magic missiles into that, go into the, into this goblin, and you, you, you start, they just, all five of them start smashing into his midsection. He loses his grip on the side of the bridge and falls into the water, but he is not quite dead. But he looks severely wounded. And then he goes over to this guard and he's like, sound the horns now. All right. And we will roll initiative. Oh, boy. Uh, if you are going at full speed, you will be about four turns out. No. All right. How, uh, that's 60 feet. 60 feet per turn, so that is... Yeah, four to five turns. We'll Wait, say four I could turns. I could sleep on them. could have, but it's fine. Anyways. True, but I was panicking. <laughs> yeah, I all right. His AC is 15. Let's clear the turn order. Anyways, I give myself advantage on initiative and then probably roll shit again. Smile. Yep, give me your initiative roll. See? I, I, I'll keep the 15. 15. I think. Yeah, I have 15 now, Ems. Yep, fix it. All right. And then he goes, he's gonna fucking spend his time going back to his tent and putting on his armor, I guess, because clearly counter raids are happening. Yeah, that's fair. He doesn't, he, has, he can't fucking put on his armor. God fucking damn it. Yeah, All right. he has 15 AC. Yeah. Yeah, his AC is 15. Monka S, Goblin Stalkers? Hey! Welcome to the club of bad initiative. Population, <laughs> not me. <laughs> it's fine. I don't know, dude. When your DP when you when when you're a support character and neither of your DPS are around. It's kind it's of It's fine. It's kind I of believe, good Believe in you. Have faith in the moon hey. god. And then, so, I'm like, you know the funny, the funny thing, idea. the, the funny thing is, imps, like, the moment like you send a message of just like when I saw your messages of like, like, of Taylor doing something, I immediately knew I was like, oh god, he's gonna counter raid us, <laughs> like he, he's tired of our shit, he's gonna send some goblins to counter raid. 
All right. Let me I order know the taking initiative. off his armor was a bad idea. <laughs> All right, so this guard goes first. He is going to move up and uh, he is going to ready in action if uh, if anything comes within his within his if any enemy comes within his uh, area of threat, he is going to smack him with his sword. That'll be his turn. Uh, All right, this hobgoblin ambusher has to. Oh, hold on. There we go. Oh, my roll twenty crashed. Hold on. But you know what? I'm 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 proud of the. You know I'm proud of those uh hobgoblins for realizing that they are in deep bushes. I'm proud of them. <laughs> my roll my my roll twenty's been acting weird all day. It's been weirdly shit in the bed. One moment while the map reloads. There we go. All right, so this hobgoblin is going to is going to move to climb up the bridge. Uh, I believe water counts as difficult terrain, correct? Yeah. Know that. All right, and then, so that's counts ten as... feet to get to there. Then he has to climb up the bridge, which is going to be a more difficult terrain. So that's 20 feet to get to there. And then he's going to move to there. Um, then he's going to hold his action there. If anybody comes into his area of threat, he will smack them. That's rude. Uh, this... This goblin is going to uh, resurface himself from being underwater. So that's going to take 10 points of his movement to get back up. Or I suppose it would probably take 15 because it'll be the equivalent to having to stand up from being knocked down. But he get up again. And so I'm gonna keep 25 down. and then he's going to move to here. So that's his full movement, and he's also going to ready an action. They're not going to be moving in just yet. Revias. Uh, hold on. I cast Moon. I drop Shield of Faith, bring uh, my AC to 13. I cast Moonbeam. Alright. Right here. I cast Moonbeam. One moment. There we go. All right. So, anything else you would like to do on your turn? Uh, spirit weapon is a bonus action, right? Yes, it is. That's fair. Uh, Well, not much really. Unfortunately, can't do much. Alright, so is that the end of your turn then? Yeah, I can't do anything. I can't waste. I don't want to waste the Twilight Sink, you know? Alright. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's an action anyway. Alright, this hobgoblin is going to 20 feet, 30 feet to get up to here. Ah, he's avoiding the giant beat of light. Smart. Uh. Yep. 
yeah, he's going to have to roll a athletics check because that part has a lot less handholds. Uh, hold on, let me double check that. Make sure I use the right numbers. All of my character sheets closed, Rudy. It would be an would it be an athletics check or an acrobatics check? It probably would be an acrobatics. For uh, what? For climbing up uh, the side of the bridge. Acrobatics. All right. Yeah, it, yeah. Either or works. All right. With. Okay. Uh, so acro- if, athletics, yeah, athle- if, if it's an if an athletic if it's an athletics and that's uh that's eleven. Yeah, it would be an athletics because acrobatics is more of like you're trying to. The way it explains it is uh, staying your feet in a tricky situation, such as running across a sheet of ice, bouncing on a tightrope, or staying upright on a rocking ship deck. Might right. also call for it if you perform acrobatic stunts, including dives, rolls, somersaults, and flips. Nobbers. All right. I need. Right, I really so... need to do. Really need to do more of those because I have a plus ten. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, so he fails. He's not able to climb up, so he will have to. Eh, there. He's not. He's not able to successfully climb up. Hey, you know, don't that be funny. What? I mean, it's either go around or go to the moonbeam. Smile. Yes, and uh, the these are not your typical goblins. They are not that dumb. Sag. This one is going to use. This one is going to use uh, its whole turn to get there. Actually, there. You know, I can just move it, right? They do not have swimming speed. He dashed, so he used sixty feet of movement to get that far. Uh, this guard is going to move up, up to here, and he's going to uh, hold an action. This hobgoblin is going to get here, and then he's going to climb up to the climb up the bridge using his full turn. This goblin is going to get there using his full turn. Back at the top of the round, Ami and Caroline get closer. They are now three turns out. <sighs> Notters. Hehehe. <laughs> Or fire. What the? Yes. All right. This guard is going to move up to here. This this uh, hobgoblin does not have a raid action, so this guard is going to attack. Uh, hold on. I actually have your character sheet made, so I can just use your character sheet. Look at him! Professional! Let's go! Professional! Uh, a 17 uh, does hit. Eight. Does he have a 
advantage, though. Oh. Uh, they're, all their rolls are at advantage because it's annoying. No, that's an 18, love. The yeah, it's 18. Roll. My mistake. You but yeah, an 18, an 18 does hit. So, damage is... Uh, mm -hmm. Hi, Kobu. Hey, Kobu. Uh, that is five damage on this hobgoblin. And that will be his... Actually, hold on. One one moment. Let me double check this. Uh, he... he ha this, this guard will use a multi-attack and attack again. Yo, Pog. Uh, so, he gets to hit again. Nine does not hit. Alright, that is the end of his turn. This hobgoblin is going to move into here. And, um... Moment. There we go. He is going to also multi-attack with a short sword. Seventeen does hit. Eighteen does hit. So that is one D six. Six damage, nine damage. That is twelve damage total. No? Fifteen damage total. I can... I can math. <sighs> Alright, this goblin stalker, he has to make a constitution saving throw, correct? Yes, because he's in the beam. Notters. Alright. It's DC 7? It's DC 15? Uh, that is... That's not right yet. For some... Alright. He fails! So, he takes how much damage? 2d10, I'm gonna roll it. Alright. He, uh, he has literally no way of surviving that, because even if you rolled one on both of them, he's fucking dead. Hello, well. Alright. Well. Rivia, it is your turn. I move the moonbeam here. Wait, here. The moonbeam moves. That's my turn because uh, level. Uh, no wait, I can. I can. That's just an action. Yes, you still have your bonus action. I can cast spirit weapon, right? Yes, you can. You have not cast a spell. Okay, I cast spirit weapon. Hold on. And then I can move it to attack. Not as. Uh. God, I hate my mouse. Alright, where would you like to summon your spiritual weapon? Uh, right here. Right here, actually. There you go. And I hit this one in the face. Alright, 26 most definitely hits. 5 force damage. So that is... There we go. 
Would you like to do anything else? Uh, that's my bonus action, my action, I don't have a reaction, so... You're gonna be... not no movement? <laughs> uh, the alarm has been sounded. At the end of this turn, there will be reinforcements. Okay. Alright. This oh, goblin oh, is... Now that the sorry. moonbeam has moved... Huh? Sorry? How far away are the girls? Uh, they are three turns away. No, in feet. Because wizards in the mouth. Um, they would be. It's what? They are. Sixty feet per turn. About two hundred feet away. Oh, next turn, Ami can fucking fuck them up. All right, so next. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, so, I was about to uh, go. I was about to go. Caroline was falling just high enough to where the archers would not be able to hit her. So, uh, considering uh, the fact that the majority of them use short bows, I think that's about a hundred and twenty. Yeah. Yeah, she would. She would effectively be out of their range if she can help it. Which I think the maximum long range that was. Whatever's the hardest for her to get hit by them. I mean, not getting hit at all would be the hardest. Exactly. So there she goes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's going to descend lower the closer we get to the uh, to uh, our camp. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, she's also technically dashing, so you know. All right. Yeah, it's fine. Um, I was like, yeah, the moment, yeah, like the moment they're out of range of the camp, she, she would have dropped. So if they would have made some progress, so let's say drop that down by, drop it down her movement, because I imagine it's one of those like descending down diagonal situations. So down by about 30 feet each, each round or 60 feet. Uh, 30 feet, I think. Okay. So you would be at about uh, 270 now. Okay. Alright. Sam, good arena. This goblin ambusher is going to, now that the moonbeam has moved out of the way, uh, use his full movement... To get here, and then move here. Yeah, he's full. He's full turn, not his full movement. Yeah. I can move it back up. It'll be funny. Probably move it here. This hob got this got this goblin is going to move here. That's ten feet, so he still has twenty feet. He's going to move. He's going to move there. He's going to proc this guy's attack. He's ready to action. So he is going to swing and miss. It's a swing and a miss. And the goblin stalker is going to take a, a double swing at him with a multi attack. 
15 does not hit. 6 does not hit. Uh, this this guard is going to retaliate with a multi-attack of his own. 22 does hit. 18 does hit. So that is... Six damage, seven damage. So that is thirteen damage to this. Uh, that is uh, God math. Thirteen damage, though. Yes, I know thirteen damage. It's cal 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 calculating it down from the other, from the max health. Uh, 21 minus 13. I might as well just tell you. Because <laughs> I need help. My brain's not working for math. That... Yeah. What yeah, are you doing? There we go. It's fine. I got it. <laughs> Calculate help. Okay. okay. Alright. Uh, next up is... This guy is going to multi-attack him. Hobgoblin Ambusher with his short sword. Uh, 22 that's... hits. 21 hits. After that, he has to Oh, yes. He also makes... He, he has to make his con save. Let's do his con save I'm, first. I'm not gonna lie. There's probably... I'm just imagining they're just flying back and Caroline... Caroline Ami are just like, man, that went really, really well. Rivius is missing out on all the fun. <laughs> just cuts back to Rivius. <laughs> Yes, you you would be seeing the. Uh, I did not need to roll that twice, but he fails. Uh, so he takes two d ten, correct? Yes. Hold on. Uh, that 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 was a mistake. I wasn't supposed to roll that second one. That nat twenty. Didn't actually happen. This one takes 16 damage. Okay, so that is quite a significant amount of damage. And then his friend over there also has to make a con save. Smile. Yes, on his turn. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but first, damage. Eight, four, so twelve damage to this guard. He's dying, he, this guard is starting to is starting to look a bit uh, worse for wear. All right, this guy has to now make his con save. And he fails. So that is another uh, 2d6, uh, 2d10. That's 12 damage. 12 damage. So that is... Uh, boop. There we go. Yeah, uh, when would the girls see the giant pillar of light? Uh, they would be seeing it already. So that's 10... Does it ha does he take damage after leaving it as well? Or just uh, no. Only only when only when moving into it or starting in it. Oh, okay. All right, he is going to attack this guard with a multi attack. Massive failure. Oof. That is <laughs> hey, that's you. Uh, a 16 does hit. So he does get in one hit after a massive fumble. Uh, 
I can roll die. Seven damage. So... Alright. That is his turn. It is now this one's turn. Uh, he's going to attempt to finish off this, this goblin, since this goblin is weakened. So he... Ah, yes. Reinforcements will be arriving. One moment. Yes. There we go. And then... Initiative for you, and initiative for you. Oh, there we go. Alright, so this guy is going to multi attack the goblin. Massive failure, and a success. Six damage. So he does not succeed in killing this goblin, but the goblin is significantly hurt. It's okay. I'll move him. I'll move Moonbeam and kill him. Uh... Next up is this hobgoblin who is going to attack the uh, the watch guard that is right next to him. Oh wait, yeah, yeah. One success. Four damage. Ouch. Next up, this watch guard, the new reinforcements, are going to sprint into, into action. And that is his entire turn. Uh, Rivias, it is your turn. What would you like to do? Uh, Taylor, you there? Did I, oh, did, I forgot to mute, unmute. Yes, hello. I moved, I moved spirit weapon to hit this guy. Wait, hold on. God damn it. Yeah. I moved to hit this guy. Alright, spirit weapon moves. Roll for it. Twenty-four does hit, and ten force damage kills that goblin. And then Moonbeam moves over here. All right. That's it. Guess what? This he has hobgoblin. To roll a con save. This hobgoblin must now roll a con save. DC fifteen. <laughs> uh, he fails. Please roll damage. Fifteen. Uh, that is brain. Yeah, that is. There we go. All right. Uh, he is going to 
move to here. Getting out of that. Actually, no, he wouldn't move to there. He would move to here because he wants to focus on bringing down this guy. So, he is going to... That dude's gonna die. Rip. Both of those hit? Seven. Six. He is not dead. dead. Oh, pot? He is not looking very good, but he is not dead. <laughs> Alright, this, this, go, this goblin is going to hit this guy. He's going to uh, swing at him twice. Miss! Miss! Terrible. He does fuck all. As he tries desperately to swing at this guard as the new combatant joins. Okay, so they need to make dexterity saving throws. Let me double check. Yeah, not Okay. Alright, three of these. Fail. Ouch. Fail. Ow! Okay. This one? Dead. This one? Dead. This one? Severely burned, but alive. It's a fireball, and it didn't hit me. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Why, though? But he's a good boy, and he doesn't deserve this bullying. Let's let's try not let's try not to kill the only good moral compass we have in this party, please and thank you. <laughs> no, I don't think he knows what's going on half the time. That's the problem. Yeah, no, he doesn't. Caroline doesn't tell him shit. <laughs> He's uh, living his best life and has to deal with Caroline. All right, this guard is going to attempt to finish off this goblin. With a double attack. Miss it! This has the potential to kill. And it does! Wowie! Alright. Oh, he has a real con save again, my love. He's still in the moonbeam. Uh, really yep, sweetie. so... He fails. 
That's please roll me. Damage. Please roll me damage. He's dead, isn't he? Even he's with dead. that, even with that not amazing roll, he's fucking dead. All right, that is the end of initiative. <laughs> Fucking armor. <laughs> He'll be gone for ten minutes. Uh and soon after the fireball lands and the last one falls, Ami and Caroline land back. As um oh. as the guards over here uh, start to the, these three will start to clean up the bodies and this one will retire to go and get himself some medical treatment well certainly seems like we've missed eventful things over here That being said, it probably means that we should uh, keep better eyes on the water then. Oh, um, well, all that considered, um, mind if I have. I should probably get my actual gear back. Because as much. Oh, thank you. Um, I should also, uh, <laughs> yeah, I should probably also return the uh, clothes to uh, the person I borrowed this from. Granted, I should be in should be interesting to explain that we have just metaphorically have cut off a head the heads of uh, the military. Their uh, Forces to a degree. Granted, we didn't get them all. Damn. It is rather unfortunate, though. But something is better than nothing. Albeit, I am not the fan of the fact that they seem to have a uh, psychic backing behind them. Here I was. Here I was under the impression uh, that was a not so common thing, but seeing more and more on that side, uh, it's gotten me doubting it a bit. Granted, I am grateful. That means there's more psionics. I am not grateful that there are people against us. But, unfortunately, this is war, so... <sighs> it's a shame. If I... I'm sure we could've... We could make some good use out of the... Uh, I have returned. We could probably make some good use out of other psionics, but... It's a matter of about finding them, I guess. But that being said, I'm going to get uh, I'm gonna get my proper gear back on and return these clothes to the uh, woman I've I've uh, borrowed these clothes from and probably explain to her that uh, uh, they were used in the murder of several uh, ranking officers and the, in their forces and just be on my way. <laughs> Ah, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> she kind of walks away. <laughs> walks away heading towards the person that she borrowed the uh, clothes from. Okay. And yeah. Um after after about 
uh, ten minutes, Revias will emerge from his tent, now fully armored. Take one nap and everything goes to... <sighs> Whatever. Yeah, to the underdark. So how is um... your raid? As as uh, Rivius comes back out onto the bridge, you can see that the three here are uh, they're they're just they're taking the bodies and just dumping them into the river. That's insane. Yeah, yeah, they've taken the short swords and the scimitars off of the uh, the goblins and the hobgoblins. And then they're just simply tossing them into the river. There's already enough corpses in there, but a few more. Feeding the river fishes. And after, after they finish with that, they will, uh... They will now take up new posts, uh... being more attentive to watch the water. Yeah. I think once Caroline has dropped off uh, the set of clothes and changed into her stuff, uh, she's going to help the guards with uh, keeping better eyesight on the river. All right. So, uh, after just a few more hours, the sun begins to begins to rise over the over the horizon uh you may and roll it's... for recovering your fireball wand uh hold on i have it's 1d6 no bonuses right 1d6 plus Two. That's. That, that's. Yeah. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. Yeah. Me, me, too. on the fireball one, now three, and I have three charges on the magic missile one. Yeah, it'll be the same roll. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't have to worry about the magic missile. Well, I mean, the magic missile well, unless unless the enemy army has a has any wisp, <laughs> wisp or shields will be fine. The duality. Duality. The duality of the dice. Duality of recharging dice. A recharging wand. No. Imagine having to recharge, shake my head. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. Shaq's been so proud. Ah, so like that Mr. Uh, that Mr. Vive video. Yeet. Yeeticus Deleticus.
asshole, that's just grenades. More grenades. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, as as the sun begins to rise, um, the a shift change will take place, and the the uh, the the three guards on the that uh, held the bridge for the night will sign off, and the uh, the main guards of the morning will arrive to keep watch over the over the bridge. Big boys. I wonder what, as well I wonder... as some archers to provide cover in the event of anything. What were you going to say, Ken? Just gonna just Caroline's probably just like, I wonder what they're going to do now after the raids. After the t last last raid, sure they had to deal with supply loss the first time, but now they're having to deal with a little bit more serious problem. So what happened? Did you, uh, did you take down what you wanted to do? Uh, we killed some people, but uh, mm -hmm. one of them unfortunately uh, alerted uh, everyone before we could do anything. Mm. The uh, like I was saying uh, last night, uh, they have a lot of psionics on that on their side, it seems, especially in their command stuff. And uh, let us just say uh, something I've learned about myself, apparently, is uh, I can detect other psionics. So mm -hmm. long story short, if I try to go for their command staff, Unless they are heavily distracted, uh, they can tell where I'm at. That's so, I mean, we can keep trying to do raids, but chances are, unless they're asleep, which there was a couple, there was a couple that were asleep that we managed to get, or in a deep trance, uh, they would they would see me coming, but they can't see Ama coming, so we have that going. Worst yeah, comes to the worst. Yeah. 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 Worst comes to the worst. If we do the raid again and try to go after uh, the leadership again, uh, we could always just bring Ama along and she could just do what she did last time and throw a fireball at them. Yeah, that would torch their supplies and their. Shame about their orders, though. If they have any. Speaking of. Uh Yeah. Yeah. Before okay. they had to go, Mr. D. That cleric. That cleric fuck. How dare he spoil my fun. So, <laughs> you managed to get the orders from one of the higher ranking officers. So. Yo, fuck. You find more details. Um. You find that despite setbacks, the the assault on the bridge is going as planned. That the contingency for the destruction of the bridge is already underway. Hold on. The orders dictate no, besides I swear to God, those little assholes built like a trench underneath everything. I'm going to cry. What a bridge being held. 
giving you? Um, the general ex has expressed has expressed anger and some concern over the infiltration of our camp the previous the previous night. However, we ha we are tightening defenses. And and we we all we all we all collectively feel that the the danger posed by these individuals will not will not hamper the plan in any in any significant fashion. Opinions of the army. Man, that guy must feel incredibly stupid after getting stabbed in the back <laughs> multiple times. He's dead, though. Yeah, no, this is the... <laughs> that could be for next time. <laughs> True. Well, mm -hmm. But who doesn't enjoy some necrofire? Looks at divinity, shudders. <laughs> I wonder how, I wonder, I wonder how a necrotic fireball would even work. Would it, like instead of burning, would it just like decay you real quick? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I feel like it would. I feel like it would be like a short malaise of death. I was thinking like kind of like a, I was thinking like a sh kind of like a sh shadow that looks like a fireball, but then when it hits you, it just dispersed, and suddenly everything in the area just starts rotting. Yeah, yeah, effectively, like it's just like a giant shadow, like a giant shadowy ball, and then when it makes contact rather than like burning, like it just gla kind of glazes through the like over them, or whatever it's hitting and just basically like ages it like real quick it's a it's an idea anyway um anyway uh you find the uh, one of the lost reports which actually uh goes into more detail about the actual plans for the bridge, um, we have been sent as a vanguard force to secure to secure the nearby bridge. We we have orders to take the bridge and then progress towards the city. For me, for me personally, I have not been given privilege to further orders in the event of compromise. However, the general assures me that that the plan of of the emperor is absolute, and our enemies shall be crushed within within the year. Take the bridge. I think that's why they're about to try to pull some bullshit. I still think we keep pressing on their leadership because if we keep killing more and more, albeit the they're definitely going to be expecting it now. Okay, but have they considered Moonbeam? Well, if I could get you over to the, if Caroline could actually carry Rivias, <laughs> but it wouldn't be a Rivias would have to Rivias would have to strip down. <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, Rivius would have to effectively be Nakey Boy and have to rely on his magic. Yeah, yeah. Rivius would not be able to be an AC tank and go in yeah. and go into the camp. Well not only that yeah. well not not only that too. Like Caroline can only carry like can barely carry Ami. Like carrying two other people would be impossible for her.
Like, she would have to basically get, like, she, she would effectively have to get, like, a belt of hill giant or something like that for her to even, like, even think about lifting the the, the good bean. <laughs> He's a very heavy boy, most of the time. Yeah, I was about to go because Caroline is a very lean woman. Yeah. Moonbeam rolled really well today. Yeah, Moonbeam is good, good soup. But also very pog for you. But, but yeah. yeah. I I hope everyone has enjoyed this session, because this is yeah. probably where we will end it. Sound good. Sound good. Get the see the see the next like what happens next. I'm interested to see because now like now it's a matter of they have to figure out what the plan of action is if, like, they're just gonna keep attempting to cross the bridge or take the long route. I... No. No, I like this idea. Like, okay. Just how stealthy is Ami, though? He's invisible. Invisibility. If he doesn't attack, he'll they won't they can't really see her. True. Yeah. Yeah. He's just a normal. Yeah. Yeah. I mean worst comes to worst, Caroline can just do what she did last time. Like yeah, that, that could be the play, actually. Caroline creates a distraction, you grab the orders, and then skedaddle, skadoodle. There's a, there's, a, there's a small part of me that's actually tempted to, like, see if we could talk to one of the leaders and just see if, see if we, can, we can meme on them. Why? Why not? He probably's going to stab you. I mean, I'm going to stab him, so it's a mutual exchange. <laughs> it's how friendship... See, this is how friendships and war happen. If both sides want to mutually stab each other, but don't. That's how friends are made. Uh, I mean, I guess... Oh. I guess that's basically what the Christmas truce was in World War One. A hundred percent was! It... Yeah, I guess and it's kind of beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it, I, I, it shows, I have an it, idea. It shows how even even during the worst, during a time when the worst of humanity was showing itself, sometimes the best of humanity did as well. So what I'm getting from this, so what I'm getting from this is I should talk to the big armored plate guy that we just got done fireballing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy! I don't know about that, Captain. <laughs> it just... It, it, it just... It just turns... He just... It just turns into a, hey, buddy, and you just hear the sound of someone's neck snapping. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I'm. See, I would. I. That's that's the thing that has me curious. Like, because granted, they're if I talk to any of them, they're probably not gonna be too happy after today learning that a lot of their probably one of their friends has just been horribly murdered. Um, but still, would be. Resilient 
And, 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 yeah, I mean, it's gonna make it's gonna make diplomatic conversation be a little hard, but not impossible. Can yes, yes. Look. Diplomacy can be achieved somehow. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> I, I'd like to point out that I think diplomacy went out the window when the king basically told the emperor to fuck off. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Look, look, it, it will be fine. Worst comes to worst. I know this. Do you not think I realize this? <laughs> <laughs> One of the RPM on Thursdays. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. You want, you want that big boy crit? Otters. Otters. Right. <laughs> oh live, yeah, half orcs can just be like, yo, I have one of these. <laughs> I didn't hear no ringing bells. I didn't hear no toll the dead. <laughs> I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 